Hello there. Welcome back to our channel. And today we are going to discuss a special circuit that is involving one operational amplifier, one transistor, and one register. And let us draw that circuit. Let me draw it. So let's say this is your operational amplifier, which has two pins, the positive and the negative. And we would say the negative input and the positive inputs. To the positive, I am going to apply the input signal V in. And output of the op-amp is fed to, let's say, I'm using a MOSFET here with the connections as shown. And this is the source terminal. This is the gate terminal. And here is my drain terminal of the MOSFET. I am using the register R from the source terminal and another end of register is connected to, let's say, a ground potential. And what I'm doing here, the inverting input of the op-amp is connected to the end right over here. Okay, and I would now say, I want you to understand how this circuit is going to behave. Okay, so we know that the operational amplifier has a very high open loop gain where AOL stands for open loop gain. And for practical op-amp, its value ranges from 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power 7. That's the practical op-amp values, okay? And what happens since the open loop gain of the amplifier is pretty high, we know that the open loop gain or simply a gain is the ratio of output divided by the input and especially the input is vid where vid is the difference between the two inputs v1 and v2 so here is your v1 and here is your v2 so if the gain is very high ideally the difference between the two inputs tends to be zero so we say that virtually V1 is at the equal potential as V2 or V2 is at the equal potential as V1. Therefore, there we can say that this pin right here, let me draw it properly, this pin right here is virtually short. This is virtual short to the pin positive pin. So negative pin is virtually shorted to the positive pin and we then see that the V in, which is at V1, also appears at V2 and also appears right here, V in. And since there is this voltage V in that comes across the register R, it lets the current flow through this register I and that value of the current I is given as V in divided by R. Now we know that this is the MOSFET M. Essentially, there is no current through the gate because that's why metal oxide semiconductor, the gate is uh, insulated. And therefore, the same current that is flowing through the source terminal of the MOSFET is also appearing at the drain terminal of the MOSFET. So here you say, I out is equal to I, which is equal to V in divided by R. And we say that this circuit is working as voltage to current converter. Voltage to current converter. Okay. And we can also say that this is a linear circuit. And we also say that this is a precision circuit, precision linear voltage to current converter using, using one operational amplifier, one transistor here and one uh, register. If you replace the MOSFET with the BJT, there may be some error because there will be, for a BJT, you will have the base component. The current IB is not equal to zero. 
in case of uh, your BJT, right? However, you can approximate that expression saying that IE is approximately equal to IC and or exactly equal to IC neglecting the base current. So you saw now how a simple op-amp can help us to precisely convert input voltages into output current. Okay, now the input voltage range depends, let's say, for example, 1 volt to 20 volt, and the current can be, let's say, 4 milliampere to, let's say, 20 milliampere, something like that. So you kind of have this kind of ranges and all those things. All right, so hope you understood this video. If you did so, share with others and uh, uh, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more informative and uh, engaging videos like this. Till then, wish you happy learning.